our next guest is Jack and he is a Husky. He is uh, about 10 to 12 months old and he came to us as a stray so we don't really know a lot about him other than what we've uh, found out here in the shelter. Like a lot of our Huskies, we have him down as um, Husky or similar breed experience required. He's also gonna be adopted through our puppy process, just like Miley. So the puppy process, again, means that um, we take up to four applications and choose the best fit for the dog. The reason that we require um, Husky experience or a similar breed um, experience is because sometimes Huskies um, can be a little bit stubborn. They can be hard to train. Um, so by giving them um, someone as an owner that's experienced, they know how to, to handle the breed and all of their quirks. Um, it makes them um, more easy to be social um, out in public with other animals, um, different things like that. So um, we're not trying to be difficult. We're just trying to find the best possible homes for, for the dogs and to make um, all of our adopters' um, families safe as well. Um, in our behavior assessment that we've done for Jack, um, we found that he uh, doesn't really keep his kennel clean, so he will need some work on house training, but he's very friendly, he's very excited when you approach his kennel. Um, he does react negatively to um, dogs walking past him in the, um, in the kennel, whether he's walking past them or they're walking past him, um, with the barking, the growling, those types of things. Um, so that's something um, that you should be aware of. Um, again, we always request that people do dog to dog meet and greets before they decide to adopt a dog. Um, that gives you an indication of how things will go um, so that you can figure out if it's something that you can work with or it's something that's just really not gonna work at all. We've had several um, meet and greets recently where people just, you know, it was kind of a mutual decision between our staff and, and the ad potential adopter that these dogs aren't gonna get along. So um, that's gonna be better for, for all the parties involved. Um, he, again, has no issues with food aggression because that we are aware of because we were unable to test him. He wasn't interested in the food, but he willingly gives up objects um, when, you, when he's asked. Um, he leans in and he um, enjoys being petted and he becomes playfully aroused. Um, he's just a, a sweet guy, but he does have all of those kind of husky breed quirks. So something um, that you should be prepared for. If you're interested in Jack and you meet all of those requirements that we have for him, you can stop in and visit with him. Uh, our hours uh, for the kennels are gonna be Monday, Tuesday, and Friday from 10 to five, on Wednesday and Thursday, 12 to eight, and on Saturday, 10 to four.